to another video today you guys already know that today uh, MIUI 12.5.1 version has released on China for Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 as well this is really a good news for us and hoping we will get it on globally but uh, we don't expect this now because we already have on China so we can use that ROM as well and very recently uh, they will release the EU version and the Mu Hellas version also will come so I will provide all information and everything with gaming and full review of all those rooms so now let's get started now first of all uh boot your device into recovery and let me show you how can we flash that chinese room so boot your device into recovery and select davi data cache system and vendor and you guys already know i have told this on my previous videos and so many videos i have already said that when you are downgrading on when you are upgrading your android version you guys must do a format data so we should perform a format data you guys can see here just type yes and perform format data and just do a reboot to recovery so go here and reboot to recovery so device booted on recovery again now navigate to the folder where we have stored your files and let me select my files and i'll drop the link in the description of course and if you guys want to install that chinese 12.5.1 version then you guys can try and in this video i will just uh, show you the installation process and the full review will come tomorrow so MIUI 12 you guys can see here this is and let's flash and wait until it gets done so flashing process is going on wait until it gets done so you guys can see flash already done so now i'm going to root my device here is the magix file just select magix and swipe to flash when you are done just reboot system and your device will boot so this is the process of flashing any new rom from the custom rom and i already provided a video how can we uh, get back to new so if you guys haven't checked that yet so i'll drop the link in description you guys can check that out and just click on reboot system and wait your device will boot so you guys can see the MIUI animations this is really cool isn't it this is MIUI 12.5 you guys can see even we didn't expect that we will get MIUI 12 now we have MIUI 12.5 on Redmi 7 and Redmi Y3 so this is really good news for us so I will test everything so device finally booted you guys can see MIUI 12.5 and which is of course Chinese version uh, and don't worry I'll make a complete setup and then I'll make full review of that ROM and this is the installation process this is the way you guys can flash that ROM so you guys already watched the flashing process of that ROM but I forgot to show you guys how can we install the Play Store and you guys can see here I already installed the Play Store and I will talk about the Play Store later in this video so don't skip that video and i will share my first impression with you guys right now so first of all let me show you from the settings and my device you guys can see here the MIUI 12.5.1 version and of course this is chinese version you guys already know and they have made uh, so many changes and what's new you guys can check that out yourself and i don't want to waste time here and response to gesture is now instant and gesture performance is really good now it's uh, instant now with 20 times more rendering power and system sounds system animations which are more quicker you guys can see here it's so quick you guys can see it's so faster now and let me show you now what's new here the that's, that feature you guys can see here the wallpaper and personalization which is really new for redmi 7 and you guys already know that redmi 7 and redmi y3 has compatibility issues so that's why they didn't provide us all the features 
like still we don't have the navigation button here but on eu version already eu version released and on eu version we will get that build button and mio helles version so i will of course make videos on mio helles and eu rom so stay connected and now let's come to the point what's new here wallpaper and personalization you guys can access so many things from here and if you want to change your clock a lock screen clock style you guys can change from here and lock screen owner info you guys can change change from here and then now if you want to change your icon size you guys can do a from here right now and if you want to change your font you guys can do that so those are easier now and if you want to change your wallpapers you can you guys can access so many wallpapers are inbuilt here so that's the way and you guys can access ringtones so many ringtones are available notifications and let me um, play and you guys can mix so many uh, ringtones and then apply so many ringtones at one ringtone you guys can make that one so this is random this is not the one and so you guys can listen the music here and this is the rainforest so many winters you guys can check yourself no problem and you guys can access theme store from here and on lock screen as usual like as before what we had and display setting you guys can uh, schedule dark mode and turn on turn off time you guys can change and dark mode is working pretty much fine there is no issues on that and brightness level you guys can check yourself and the color scheme you guys can saturate the standard and auto whatever you prefer to set and font setting you guys can uh, change the font from here size and the bold everything you guys can and notification and control center we have that notifications set uh, MIUI Android this is a old feature and control center style you guys can see here so uh, you guys can choose MIUI 11 or MIUI 12 control center and important thing is there items items shown on lock screen after swiping down uh, on lock screen if you want to show your notification shade control center then turn this on if you don't want to show on lock screen then turn those off and in status bar you guys already know all those features connection speed better indicator all those the typical features and on home screen we have that app vault and let me show you this is chinese room so we have that chinese app vault and we don't need that app vault i guess and if you don't if you guys uh, don't need that then just turn off that app vault and this will not bother you another thing is that if you swipe up this is something so if you want to turn this off just go to home screen and just click on none and now swipe nothing will come so there's the things and uh, on settings we already have that features the additional settings you guys can check quick ball working nothing issues and what we have on special features we have video toolbox and floating windows and which is working pretty much fine no problem on that and now let me talk about the notification center it is smooth or not yes now it is smooth you guys can see here it's smoother than the earlier version as it is MIUI 12.5 so it should be and now let's come to the camera you guys can see here it was <laughs> like as before no many uh, changes you guys can see here the slow motion short video time lapse which are available of course and slow motion of course it's working no problem on that and video of course we have like as before we can record uh, up to 60 fps and grid lines and all those previous customizations you guys can change just camera modes like this and colors 
so like as before nothing new here I didn't get any so a frame average you guys can just change it, all those things and some filters are added in promotes that's it and focus speaking this is the option you guys can check you guys can see here the fo focus speaking you guys can turn on or off so no issues on that whatever you guys want to and you guys can use that no issues on that so this is the first impression i hope you guys like that video if you guys really like that video then do subscribe and hit the bell icon and never miss the further update So now guys I will show you how can we install G apps on Chinese version which is based on Android 10 of course. So first of all after flashing ROM just go to mount option and just disable that MTP option just disable it and untick the data partition and if you have micro sd card then uh, tick on that and if you don't have micro sd card then if you have usb otg uh, and you are going to flash uh, your g apps through usb otg then tick on that and if you don't have that usb otg and you have micro sd card like mine then tick on micro sd card and then get back and navigate to the folder where you have kept your g apps file just go like this and MIUI 12 I have that uh, Nick gaps core so I am just going to flash that Nick gaps and I already flashed that Nick gaps uh, on my uh, MIUI 12.5 version ROM so that's why I'm not going to flash it again and if you guys want to use the Chinese ROM then you guys can flash like this just swipe to flash and your uh, Nick gaps will be flashed on your Chinese ROM so no issues on that and then just reboot system and it will be okay no problem and i have already flashed that's why i am not doing this again so i have to make it right uh, just enable this right now and it will be okay you guys can now reboot your system no problem